We raise our hands when we want to speak. We talked about what we do at our seats. What do we do at our seats, Nia? Quietly. We work quietly at our seats. We talked about the kind of voices we're going to be using. Kingston. Very nice. We talked about how we treat our classroom. What do we do in our classroom, Noella? Uh, we, we clean up our room and we keep it straight. Excellent. And then we said we always do our best. We always do our best. best. So are you going to show me your best? Yes. Okay. Best, yes. Let's get started. I'm looking for those people who are acting like first graders. Okay. Here we go. This week we have been talking about visualizing. What is visualizing? Who remembers? Myla. Making a picture in your head. Painting a picture in your head. And we've talked about that there are special kind of words that an author can use to help us visualize in our mind. What kind of words does an author use that helps us paint a picture in our mind? Zamaya. Oh, okay, so you're using that movie in your head. We'll get right to that in a second. Who remembers what kind of words help us visualize? Zaria, do you remember? Mm -hmm. What? It helps us be good readers. Mm -hmm. So that's why we visualize. Yes, absolutely. We're going to get right to that. We use adjectives. Adjectives are those describing words that help us visualize. And Zaria just answered my next question. Why do we visualize? She said it makes it a lot more fun. It definitely does. Because it's almost like, Maurice, please sit and slam. It's almost like you can picture that in your mind. It's almost like you're right there in the story. And that's so much fun. Why else do we visualize? How does it help us? Nia? So, become better readers. But why? Because How? Maurice? Because... It feels like you're in the movie. It feels like you're in the movie. You're, you're picturing it in your mind, and you're really understanding what's going on around you, right? Yes. I found a really cool picture that shows us exactly what we're doing. Are you ready to see it? Yes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. One, two, three. Open them. <gasps> Wait a second. Take a look. This is someone's mind. Marcus, can you look closely? What does it look like the person in their mind is doing? I think that they're looking at something white. What do you think they're looking at? What does that kind of look like? It looks like that he's, I mean, she's, she's tracking, um, she's tracking, um, she's tracking something. She's tracking something with her eyes. What does it look like she's doing, Amari? Looking at a movie. It almost looks like in her mind, She's watching a movie, and whenever we read a story, we do that. You might not even know that you do that, but we do that whenever we read a story. Eyes over here, take a look at it. It looks like, in her mind, she's making a movie. Well, that's what we're going to work on today. Today we're going to be listening to those adjectives, those describing words, to make a movie in our minds. Are you ready to do that? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. If you're ready, clap one time. Yes. If you're ready, clap two times. I'm sitting like this. I have a story for us. Yes, Nina? Quickly. I have a story for us, and this story is filled with lots of adjectives, lots of describing words that help us picture it in our minds. Can someone give me an example of a describing word or an adjective? Andre? That could be new. If something's new, you picture it. It's new. It's not an old toy or something like that. Yeah? Can anybody think of another adjective? Myla? Something to describe my hair. Brown. Brown. Colors. Those are great adjectives, especially when you're making, Maurice, especially when you're making a movie in your mind, those colors really help, don't they? Because in your mind, that movie is not going to be black and white. It's going to have lots of colors. And this, this story that I'm going to read has lots of colors in it. Are you ready for it? Yeah. When we're done, I'm going to need your help telling me what did you visualize in your mind. So remember what we talked about, Keyshawn, when we're visualizing? We can close our eyes. We don't need to lay down our bodies. 
We're going to sit nice and tall, and we're just going to close our eyes. Right, Maurice? Right, Kingston? Yeah. Do you have a question? <coughs> I need to blow my nose. Oh, my goodness. Go ahead. And the rest of us, let's try not to use any more tissues, okay? Uh-huh. All right, here we go. Let's, let's close our eyes and get ready to visualize. Close it. I like the way Amira's ready. Zamaya is showing me she's ready. Here we go. John has new shoes. They have bright yellow shoelaces. They are running shoes. They are purple and white. He has long, long legs. He is holding on to the straps in the subway. The train makes him rock back and forth. He is very tall. John has glasses a cap and a green and black jacket and when he smiles and when he smiles you can see the space between his big front teeth open up your eyes did you have a movie going on in your head yeah. touch your nose if you saw a movie in your head touch your nose if you saw some colors in that movie me too I'm gonna to read it one more time and then I'm gonna need your help telling me all the things you saw in your mind are you ready? Yeah. All right. Close those eyes. Get ready to visualize. Paint a picture or movie in your mind. John has new shoes. They have bright yellow shoelaces. Are you visualizing? They are running shoes. They are purple and white. He has long, long legs. He is holding onto the straps in the subway. The train makes him rock back and forth. He is very tall. John has glasses, a cap, and a green and black jacket. And when he smiles, you can see the space between his big front teeth. Open up those eyes. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the picture that I painted in my mind. I'm going to take it right out of my mind and I'm going to draw it for us. But I need your help. Excuse me. I'm going to put this right up there so we know that this is the picture that I had in my mind. This is the movie I was watching in my mind. Okay? And this is what I saw. First, I'm going to start with those great adjectives that I heard, those describing words. The first thing that I was picturing were those bright yellow shoelaces. Raise your hand if you saw those two in your mind. Me too. Bright yellow. So I'm going to write that on the line because that's one of the that's one of the adjectives or describing words that I heard. Bright yellow. And even though I'm not a very good drawer, I'm going to go ahead and start to draw that. So let's go ahead and start. I'm going to have his shoes right here. There's his two shoes, and I need to include that adjective. What, what color were his shoelaces? Who remembers that describing word? Brian? Uh, yellow? They were bright yellow, not just any yellow. Bright yellow like the sun. So I'm going to draw his shoelaces on here. It's hard to see the yellow. Then I heard another adjective. I heard that his shoes were some colors, and in my mind I pictured those colors because the author told me what color they were. Who heard that describing word, that adjective? What color were his shoes? Daria. Purple and white. Pur those were two great describing words that helped me. Purple and white. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw some purple and white stripes on his shoes because this is what I was picturing. You might have pictured it a little bit differently. I did. But in my mind I saw some stripes on his shoes. Purple and white. Then I continued visualizing in my head. So it started with his shoes and it worked its way up. And I heard that he had legs. Not just any kind of legs. I heard a word that helped me picture, helped me visualize those legs. He had long, long legs. That's a great describing word. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw those legs. Whoa. Really long legs. Really long legs. 
I continue with the story. Let's see. So far, we're about halfway through. I heard he has those long, long legs and that he's holding on to something. What did you visualize in your mind? What is he holding on to, Julia? He's, on, he's holding on to the strip, the, 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 the thing that's on the subway. Yes, what is a subway again, just in case? What's a subway? Is that someone's house? Nope, no, it's a store. A store. Oh, that is, that's a sandwich store. But does that make sense? Think about that. That's a really good idea. And so that's why visualizing is so important because sometimes if you're not sure what they're saying, you might visualize it totally wrong. You pictured him getting a sandwich at Subway. Does that make sense that he would hold on to something there and he would rock back and forth? No. Do you ever rock back and forth when you buy a sandwich? Yes. No. Can somebody help Julia visualize it a little bit better? What is the Subway, Zamaya? It's the Subway train. Yes, it's the train. Now do you visualize it a little bit differently? Yes, you see him holding onto the straps on the train, and it's moving and rocking back. That was great. I'm so glad you brought that up, Julia. Did everybody else get that right? Yeah. No. You were picturing the sandwich place too. Me too. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, now let's fix it in our heads. So let's really quickly picture him with those long legs and those purple and white shoes, holding onto the straps on the train, rocking back and forth. Now we've got it. We yes. fixed our movie? Okay. Yeah. So I heard, yes, he was holding onto the straps. What are straps? The Those straps are the things that you hold on to to make sure that you don't fall. So here's his arms holding onto those straps. And what else did we hear about him? Who can help me fi figure out some more adjectives? We heard something else about him. What did you visualize in your head? Samari. Let's see. So we went we got all the way up to he's rocking back and forth. <coughs> he's very tall. He has glasses, a cap, and a green and black jacket. Oh, oh glasses. Glasses. That's a good clue for us, isn't it? So let's draw his face. That's the picture. That's his face. Here's his glasses. What else did you hear? I'm not, I know, I'm not that good at drawing. You guys will be better. What else did you hear? What adjective? Somebody who's sitting like a first grader, because I'm looking for that. And I see Zaria sitting like a first grader. Jackie. Absolutely. Green and black. Here's my green. Here's my black. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to color in some green over here. Maybe some green over here. This is how I visualized it. You might have visualized it differently. Turn to a friend. Did you hear something else that I need to add and whisper in their ear? Okay, one voice is off. Two, back to your spots. Three, slanting and ready to go. I heard this group right here, Samari. What were you saying? I forgot. What's a cap? It's a type of hat. A hat. So I need to include a hat on this guy's head. What else did I forget? Somebody who is sitting like a I see. Jada. What else did we see in your mind? What did you see? Sorry. That last sentence has something. Hold on. Oh, can you tell her? Who can help Jada? Jaden, what did you see? The mouth. And what did you hear that described his mouth? Because he had he um he had a mouth. Um, Maurice, please sit in sight. Yes. He had a mouth, and what was special about his mouth? He was talking to no. No. You, maybe in your mind you were visualizing someone talking, but what did you visualize about his mouth? That was a little it bit was, special. It, um, 
his mouth, his mouth was, um, Amira, do you remember? He had big teeth. He has a gap between his teeth. There's a space between his teeth. So he, I'm going to show him smiling. And there's his teeth. So did you see? Did you see how we listened really closely for those adjectives, those describing words? We came up with even more. You guys knew he had green, black. You knew he was tall, he had long legs, long legs. So those were all great words that helped you visualize. If I just said there was a boy on a train, can you picture all this special stuff? No. So it's so much fun when the author gives you all of these adjectives to help you make that movie. So right now, you guys are going to get a chance to do exactly what I did. Let's take a look. You have, you have the same paper that I have, and you're going to listen to a new story. So get rid of the boy from the subway. We're having a brand new story. Back and slant. Back and slant. Thank you. You're going to listen to a new story. The first thing you're going to do when you go back to your seats is you're going to write down some of those describing words that you hear. Then you can start drawing the picture. If you think about the words first, that will help you remember it. We're going to listen to it two times on the rug. How many times? Two. How many times? Two. And then you're going to go back to your seat and get working. And then you'll hear it one more time. How many? Two. Two on the rug. One more at your seats. And while you're at your seats, I'm looking for first graders that are getting ready for first grade, that are working quietly at their seats. Show me what that's going to look like right now in front of you. Great. One, mm. two, three. Ah. Here we go. Please begin to visualize. Your eyes are closed, but your body is nice and straight, Maurice. One second. Let's hear it one time. Here we go. The two sisters sat on the park bench. Make that movie in your head. Spring was starting and the, yellow, and the yellow flowers by their feet were blooming. They sat beneath the big tree while a red bird sang happily over their heads. The oldest sister wore a long pink dress. It matched the pink flower on her hat. It was her favorite. The little sister had on her new purple shoes and purple jumper. They enjoyed sitting in the warm weather and talking together. Open up your eyes. Talk to your friend and whisper one describing word that you heard. One, two, back to your seats, and three, slanting and ready to go. Let's hear it one more time. Really get it in your mind so you can go back and take it right out of your mind and put it on your paper. Are you ready? Eyes closed? Yes, Jaden. The pants look like yours because they're brown. Yeah. Okay, ready? Last warning, Maurice. I see that Jaden's ready because his eyes are closed. He's really making that movie in his mind. Okay, now everybody's ready. The two sisters sat on the park bench. Spring was just starting and the yellow flowers by their feet were blooming. They sat beneath the big tree while a red bird sang happily over their heads. The oldest sister wore a long pink dress. It matched the pink flower on her hat. It was her favorite. The little sister had on her new purple shoes and purple jumper. It's like a dress. They enjoyed sitting in the warm weather and talking together. Okay, open up your eyes. Hope you heard those great words. Hope you have that movie in your mind. When you go back to your seat, name, date, I'm over here, Maurice, track me, please. Maurice, name, date, write those words. First thing you do, write those great words that you heard so that you don't forget them. Then you can start your picture, and I'll read it one more time just so you don't forget anything, okay? Okay. When we come back, when we come back to our seats, we're going to share it with a buddy. So let's see how you do. I need a helper to put out all the bins.
Now you might please put out the bins without dropping them. I'm looking for first graders to work. How do they work, Nia? They work quietly at their seats using voices soft and sweet. If you sit at the blue table, please come up. Ouch. If you sit at the yellow table, please come up. Nope. If you sit at the green table, you're welcome to get started right away. And red table. Okay, I'm going to give you a couple minutes to get started, then I'm going to read it one more time. Is it a wow. Name and date. So what were some of those words that you heard in that story that can help you? Oh, write it down. <gasps> yeah. Purple what? Yes, great adjective. Write it down. What are some of the words that you heard that helped you? I didn't know it. Stop it. Michael, tell me a word that you heard that helped you just to uh, paint a, a picture in your mind. Purple, write it down on the line. Jaden, what was one of the adjectives that you heard that helped you make a picture in your mind? Okay, write it down on the line. Did you hear one? What? Pink dress, pink, absolutely. Good, it's so much fun when you're moving and your head has lots of colors. No, you need to think for yourself. That's good, sound it out. Did you hear an adjective that helped you make that movie in your mind? What word? Dress. Dress, what color was the dress? One of the sisters had a purple one on, yep. Okay, while you're working, I'm going to read it one more time. So listen, make sure you have everything in your mind. Here we go. Oh. The two sisters sat on the park bench. Get started with that picture. Remember those words. Spring was just starting, and the yellow flowers by their feet were blooming. They sat beneath the big tree while a red bird sang happily over their heads. The oldest sister wore a long pink dress. It matched the pink flower on her hat. It was her favorite. The little sister had on her new purple shoes and purple jumper. They enjoyed sitting in the warm weather and talking together. Oh, I see some people getting started right away. Don't forget those words that helped you. Now you can start your picture. Go ahead and start your picture. That's it? Just one person? Is that what your picture was? Just that? You need lots of colors, you need everything. Good, draw your picture. Good. Oh, I love the colors. You must have pictured those in your mind. Don't forget to write those down on the line. That was right. That was right. You can use any color. I don't know. If you pictured it in your mind, what color did you picture it? For what? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
So the tricky thing is, some of the things I didn't tell you, like I didn't tell you what color her hair is. That's when you have to use your own mind and figure it out. Maybe you thought it was brown, you thought it was black. That's fine. Blue. Blue hair? You think so? Ew. Let's, let's go ahead and start drawing so we can see what you did picture in your mind, Brian. Go ahead. Don't forget your colors. Very nice. Get up again. Okay. Good, Dior. Miss Amaya? Here. Put it in your pocket so you don't have to get up again, okay? Show me. Shush. I know her. Shush. So we can take it. I know her. Okay, guys, I'm going to give you three more minutes to add as many details as you remember into your picture. And then we're going to come back to the rug and we're going to look at a partner's and see if yours looks the same as theirs. See if they remembered all the things you remembered. Go ahead and start your picture. <coughs> Good job, Dior. Love it. Oh my goodness, this table is rocking it. Sean, what words did you hear that helped you? Girl. Okay, you can write the word girl. That did help you make a picture. Did you hear any adjectives or describing words? Like what about her dress? Did you hear anything that described the dress? Girl. <coughs> what color was her dress? One of the girls is purple. That's a describing word. You can write that down. Sound it out. Two more minutes. And you guys really are working quietly at your seats like first graders. Excellent. Wow, Mia, you came up with a lot of words. Good. We have a lot more to do. A lot more. These are looking really good. One more minute. So tell me what you remembered from the story. I remember the tree, mm -hmm. I remember the pink dress, and the purple shoes. Yes. And I remember the, and the, and the, uh, uh, the purple dress. And Very nice. And I remember the flowers. Really good, Dior. Very good. Very nice. Is that what it said? What did it say? How many people were there? How many people were there? Two. So how many do you need to have? Two more. Only one more. Yeah. Oh, my God. Two other more. Go ahead and draw it. Okay, we got about 10 more seconds and I'm going to start my countdown.
Okay, here we go. I'm gonna count down from 10. I want your pencils and crayons away. You may hold on to your own paper and your hands are in slant. 10. Which table does it the best? Nine. Eight. I really like the way the green table's working nicely. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Hold on to your own papers. Three. Two. And. <gasps> one. Get it. Take your paper. Excellent job. When I call your table, I would like you to push your chairs in. Walk like first graders. Let me see it. Back to your circle. Paper in your lap, hands in slant. Let's see. I think the yellow table is looking really good. Yellow table, let's see it. Oh my goodness, Jaden. <gasps> oh, I think we have 100% from that table. Wow. Green table. Yes, Dior, you got it. Excellent. Blue table. Nice. Do your best. Very nice. And red table. Paper right in your lap. Hands in slant. Wow, let me just check to make sure we have 100%. Papers in your lap, hands in slant. One, two, and three. Okay, when I say go, wait a second. When I say go, I want you to get shoulder to shoulder with a friend. If you can't find a friend, you can join a group of two. And I want you to look at your papers. What's the same on your papers? What did you both visualize? What's different? Some things might be different. I didn't say go yet. Then I'm going to do our count off. One, two, three, and I want you back to your seats. Go. Shoulder to shoulder with a buddy. What's the same? Yeah, so you both have the pink and purple dresses and shoes. I got that. I got that. I got that. I got that. I forgot that. He remembered a bird. You forgot a bird, but you both remembered a flower. Yeah, I forgot that too. Because I all the flowers. Yeah, I got that. I got two flowers. You got the hat with the flower on top. Nope. You both. I got a purple jump. I got a pink and purple jumper. What about you? I have a blue and a red. You both are visualizing them sitting on a bench. I'm sure you care. Do you have purple shoes? Purple shoes? Yeah. Wow, let's see. I'm purple shoes. You were visualizing the tree. Yes, I do. And the flowers. You forgot those parts. Is that it? And the picture I'm talking about. Okay. This guy. Guy. Very I have good. my over here. Okay. Color One. It, voice is off. I did. Two. Back to your spots. Three. Slanting and ready to go. Please raise your hand and share out. What is one thing you and your partner visualized? Amari. Julia. Say it again. And what colors? Pink and purple. Isn't it fun when you're making a movie in your mind when it has all those bright colors in it? Yeah. I was picturing the purple and the pink dresses as well. What else did you and your partner have the same? Jada. We had the same person. So how many people were there? Two. Give me a thumbs up if you pictured two people. No. Should have. Give me a thumbs up if it was two sisters. Good. What did your partner visualize that maybe you did not? Or what did you visualize a little bit differently than your partner? Samari. 
If you have your papers, they need to be in your laps, please. And your hands need to be off of them so we can hear Samari. Thank you. What did she forget? Go ahead, dear. She forgot the flowers, but you visualized them. Some people, I think, might have run out of time. But raise your hand if you remember to draw in flowers. And it told you what color the flowers were. What color were they, Jada? Pink. The flower on her hat was pink. What color were the flowers by her feet, Myla? Yellow. Yellow. Aww. Very good. Raise your hand if you remembered the tree. They were sitting underneath the tree. Hands down. Raise your hand if you visualize that the girls had brown hair. Oh, I didn't say what color. Raise your hand if you visualize that they had black hair. Hands down. Raise your hand if you visualize that they had yellow hair. Oh, nobody. Oh, back in plant. Back in plant. Sometimes an author will give you lots of details, lots of adjectives to help you make that picture in your mind. Sometimes they might leave some out. It didn't tell us, Amaya, what color the hair was, so that was up to you to picture in your mind. And sometimes you might picture it a little bit differently, Maurice, than your friend, and that's okay if you do. But remember, when you're reading later today by yourself or you're reading at home tonight, you can always listen for those adjectives, those describing words to help you make a movie in your mind. Okay? Yes. What kind of words do you need to listen for to help make a picture in your mind? Mia. Yeah. What does that mean? Uh, something that describes them. Excellent. What kind of words, everybody? Adjectives! Excellent. When I say go, we are going to pass our papers over and up. I'm going to do it in... 15 seconds, put a bubble in your cheeks, lock it. Go. One, two, three, four.